Next Wednesday, we observe Ash Wednesday, the beginning of the season of Lent. The season where we go in to the wilderness, the place without viable means of support and come face to face with what we need the most, God. As I pondered Lent in COVID time, I thought, why are we going into Lent? We've been in Lent for the last year. We've been in a time where much of what we have relied on, the other resources have been taken away from us. And yet, maybe in this identifiable church season, we can go into this extended wilderness and discover just how totally reliant we are on God. I want to just make one suggestion of what you might do. You've got to figure out what you want to do during this season. Just don't do anything where you're trying to justify your existence before God and prove that you're worthy in God's eyes. You're already worthy in God's eyes and God loves you with an everlasting love. The, the invitation is, can we trust that and own that? But here's what I'd invite you to do. You know, as we remember on Ash Wednesday, we are dust. Our life is totally dependent on the breath of God. And the best thing we can do as we begin Lent is to simply bring to God where we are now. And my guess is that at least some of you, maybe not all of you, but some of you, in this extended Lent that we have been in, are aware just how much you are longing to be delivered from this time. Longing to be given what you need to survive this time. I would invite you to be honest with God about where you are. That is always the place to begin. To be transparent, to be honest. Don't get distracted by all your sins and offenses. I mean, join the crowd. That's where we all are, right? We're all flawed. We all make mistakes. We all don't live out this journey the way that we, we want to. That's part of our humanity. But I would invite you to go to where you are now and bring that longing and that need to God. Is it just possible that when you bring that need, that hurt, that anxiety, that fear, that what you'll discover is that God is with you? And if you have discovered that, then on day one of Lent, you've discovered the beginning and the middle and the end of what Lent is all about.